Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing a single reading for a sign of Capricorn, and keep in mind that this will not resonate for every single Capricorn. If you like a personal reading, I'll leave that in the description down below. Another thing you can do is we also have a website where things are for sale there. There's gems, there's crystals, there's shirts, there's jewelry, and so on. The link to that will be in the description down below, where you can go ahead and just check that out, which you should do, because hey, there's cool things there, and I made it. Um... On the bottom of the deck for the overall energy for your current situation, we have the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords is an ending, so currently there's an ending happening here between you and another person. Or there was in the past, but you're still feeling the effects of it. We have the Nine of Pentacles. We have the Seven of Wands. We have the Queen of Pentacles, which is Earth, your own card, and King of Wands, which is Fire, and the Queen, um, King of Pentacles, which is also Earth. So Capricorn, currently, I do see people being interested in you, Fire, Earth sign, but I don't really see you having that same interest in them. I see you kind of being more focused on yourself, alright, and not just, not really focused on love, more of yourself and your career here, alright. But you do have people who are constantly like trying to get your attention here, like hey Capricorn, hey Capricorn, and you're like, no, go away. So, on the bottom of the deck of what's coming towards you, you have the Page of Wands. Page of Wands communication coming in, and we'll pull, we'll see your other card to see from who. You have the Devil, which is Capricorn. You have the Nine of Wands. Four of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles, three of Pentacles. Capricorn, so I see. First off, I see work improving for you, career, business improving for you, opportunities for that, but. I see like a friend trying to make some advancements towards you. Can be another Capricorn like yourself or someone with Capricorn placements, heavy earth here. I feel like that's the communication coming in. Like them trying to make some sort of offer towards you, but I, I really don't see you being that into this person. Like I see you kind of like, there's something quite off about them, right? And that's because they're quite obsessive about you, whether you're aware of that or not. Which is kind of in a creepy way. Very creepy way. Like, I'm not joking. Like, that's the thing I get from this. Like, ew. You know? Like, there's a difference between being obsessive and then being overly obsessive. Which feels like this person is overly obsessive towards you. That's energy coming towards you. Not in a flattering way. Number 30, adjudication. Wedding. Pay attention to the red flags. Engagement. Divine timing. I like hurts. Forgive. Sacred space, 333. Ascend. Capricorn, I want you to pay attention to the red flags of this person coming towards you. Okay, of this obsessive energy. Because there, there's a reason why it doesn't, you know, there's a reason why it feels off. Okay? What it feels like is there is marriage potential for you. There's going to be engagement potential. Of course, it's not set in stone. It can go either way. From someone of the past. Okay, someone, like, it's gonna happen at the right time, divine timing. I see the fall card over there, so it can even be this fall. Alright, where there's gonna be forgiveness there. Right now, there's a need for you to just ascend. Sacred space and ascend, right? I, that's what I feel like. Not this obsessive person coming towards you, but someone of the past. There's gonna be forgiveness there, and it can lead to engagement and wedding. Okay? So, that is all I have for you. Let me know if that resonates. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more content, oops, don't forget to like, subscribe. Bye, guys.